Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and as of Sunday, happy Easter in advance, because today's Saturday. So, I wanted to go ahead and do another egg painting video, and if you remember my last year's video, I'll go ahead and put that up in the top right corner if you see that little thing and you want to go and check out my old Easter egg video you can go and check that out I did a ton of designs but I did them on real hard boiled eggs and that was a horrible idea because I couldn't keep a single egg that I made and they were all so cool and I ex especially this hardest one that I made last year I really wanted to keep it and I kept them as long as I could but alas they're eggs they're hard boiled eggs and eventually they get really smelly pretty fast <laughs> so I didn't keep a single one of those eggs so I bought those fake eggs from Hobby Lobby and my problems were solved because they are unbreakable they're not unbreakable but they're not as fragile as actual hard-boiled eggs so of course, as you can see, the theme I'm going with is a surprise, surprise. It's galaxy theme, but I have a plan, okay? You're gonna see why I'm making galaxies by the end of this video, because I was inspired big time yesterday. So I'm trying to think if there's any funny Easter stories that I can tell you guys from my past. I'm just thinking about like, traditions that I do for Easter. The only traditions I do is, as a Christian, it is a celebration of Jesus' res resurrection, and I do go to church every Sunday for Easter, but I don't, I mean, back when I was little, I did have Easter egg hunts, and I think around when I turned 15 is when I stopped participating. <laughs> I know I should have stopped like a, a like back at 13. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should have? Um, and what's a good age to stop Easter egg hunts? And I, I kind of want to start like a, you know, those escape rooms that you go to now. I wonder if there could be like an intense Easter, intense Easter egg hunt for adults or teenagers. So there should be an intense escape room scavenger hunt that involves eggs full, a still full of candy, or if it gets more intense, diamonds, but there should be something for adults to have an intense Easter egg hunt that is just overload with fun and joy. And I can't believe this whole video just turned into a rant on how I want there to be Easter egg hunts for adults and teenagers that are no longer children, but want to still participate in Easter egg hunts. <laughs> so we finally get to the reason why I wanted to do galaxies on my eggs this year. Plus, I, I mean, I did want to do galaxies, but if you were like me yesterday, all you had to do was jump on some social media platform. All I did was jump on Facebook, and um, I don't know if some of you follow Jamie Costa. He was the first one that I saw that actually retweeted, not retweeted, but like reblogged on Facebook, and I saw the Last Jedi trailer. So I am, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I was thinking of all these emotions that are going through my mind just watching this trailer. As of course, all Star Wars trailers do to all of us. We're just sitting there and we're just like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? So, I mean, I never used to be a Star Wars fan until The Force Awakens. And I don't know why it didn't click for me until then. Um. I mean, I was there, I went and saw one, two, and three, like the prequels to the 80s um, Star Wars. I saw all of those, and then, I, I don't know, it just never clicked for me. I just kind of just went, okay, cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would never pass up a lightsaber fight with my little cousins. <laughs> I loved playing with all the lightsabers and, you know, just being crazy with Star Wars, but and just going on the Star Wars rides at Disney's parks, but it just never clicked for me. I was never a fan. So until The Force Awakens. And so I now that I'm seeing like all my favorite characters where it clicked for me, like I'm seeing Finn and I've always loved Luke and I'm seeing Rey and I'm seeing Poe and I'm seeing um, my beloved Kylo. Yes. I love Kylo, <laughs> but I, I just all the everything that's going through my mind and I'm just like what is happening I don't know what's going on and then Luke said something really disturbing and I'm just like what does he mean by that? 
what's going on? Can we just, can we just not go there? And then I saw my precious BB-8. He really looks so cute. And it just made me happy that BB-8's okay. But, um, my precious Finn, he, he didn't look so awesome either. He, I, I don't know what to do about Finn. And if you guys haven't seen the trailer yet, all you have to do is jump on Disney on any social media platform. And you can actually watch the Star Wars trailer for The Last Jedi. So, um, and I must admit, you may, you might get mad at this. <laughs> I did not like Rogue One at all. I don't know if some of you guys have been on my past live streams for, um, Instagram, but people were always asking me, what did you think of Rogue One? And I went, I hated it. <laughs> so I just wasn't a fan of Rogue One, but I'm a huge fan of, um, four, five, six, and seven, and I know I'm going to be really excited about number eight, but one, two, three didn't really do it for me, and Rogue One didn't do it for me, but three, four, five, six, love them. Love them! Um, yes, no, 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 four, five, six, seven, love those, love those. So in case you're wondering, yes, these are my two all-time favorite Star Wars characters. I fell in love with BB-8, and Darth Vader has always been an original character for me. I also love Kylo Ren and Finn. I don't know if I'm Team Finn or Team Kylo Ren when it comes to Rey. Yes, because I think there's going to be some huge love triangle scene going on there. Because I am hoping, wishing, I don't know, my theories are Kylo and Rey are not related. I think... I, I'm not gonna even get into any crazy arguments or anything. If you want to argue with me on that theory, then make sure you see me in person and I bet you I will sit down and just argue with you over theories and conspiracies for about five hours, you know, over Star Wars and who Rey is related to. But other than that, please leave in the comments down below if you have a favorite Star Wars characters or if you really are interested in this intense Easter egg hunt, then make sure you leave in the comments down below that we should do this. We should have an intense adult Easter egg hunt or just tell me about some of your favorite traditions for Easter. I would love to hear some stories and I'd love to hear from all of you or what was your reaction to the new Star Star Wars Last Jedi trailer. But yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and I will see you all later. Bye!